Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, RageKH20 here. Get a power stance, a power stance, a power stance. There we go. And we are back with Jonathan Young 2014. Uh, today we got You'll Be in My Heart, classic Disney Tarzan song. Uh, originally by Phil Collins, I believe. Pretty sure that's right. Um, I'd be surprised if that was wrong. That sounded like Phil Collins. And, uh... I mean, I've heard the song a few times, but I've never heard Jonathan Young's version of it, so I'm interested to get into that. Uh, I'm really hoping he does something spicy and special with the uh, with the echoes uh, at the end of the song. I'm looking forward to that. Don't really have anything else to say besides the fact that it's fucking hot. Man, it's been so fucking hot. So uh, the reason I look all glisteny is not because my skin just naturally shines with the beauty of of a porcelain angel though that is 50 percent true uh it's because it's fucking hot so yeah just keep that one in mind um uh, i guess well I'll, I'll, i'm gonna share it in this one i'm also gonna share it in one of the nightwish ones just to try to reach a bigger audience uh something i've noticed uh when i watch other reaction videos compared to my reaction videos i know there's a lot of differences but uh one thing is that uh i, I know i think I don't know why. I, I think I know why. I'm going to make an assumption. Uh, I note that uh, a lot of people tend to have the video all shrunken and them all big and shit. Um, I, th I, I think the reason for that, besides the fact that other people do that, so people who probably start is like, oh, we need to do that too. Um, I think the main reason is that is, is for copyright reasons. I don't want to guess. Um... That's also usually why they'll pause and talk in the middle of it, uh, other than just trying to share their thoughts as they come. Um, but for me, I, I think another small portion of it is because usually more people have actual reactions than I do. And I feel like a small percentage of them are dishonest. I feel like some people overhype their reactions and whatnot. But... Um, I know I've already mentioned before that I think people just like react to songs like they've never heard music in their life before. It's just like, whoa, what the fuck? Are you listening to this song? You know, it's just fucking stupid. Uh, so, <laughs> but uh, me personally, I just, uh, I, I would prefer to see more of the video than more of my face, even though it is gorgeous and beautiful. I'd rather see more of the video than myself. And then when I'm discussing it, you can see more of me because there's no video happening. You know, I just think it's more logical. So I just wanted to, if anyone wondering why I do it the way I do it, that's why I do it. So, hey, there's beautiful little me. My hair is a fucking mess, but I got a hair appointment coming up. So <laughs> I am just a hot mess and I love it. You'll be in my heart. Disney's Tarzan, Jonathan Rock, Jonathan Rock Young cover. Let's fucking go. I... Knew I was going to do it. I don't want to add these to either. You don't, don't you watch later. Don't you fucking watch it. Okay, here we go. Go stop your crying, it'll be alright. Just take my hand, hold it tight. I'll protect you from all around you. I will be here, don't you cry.
say, ooh. the sick outro for a second just see if it's i mean you you are the man john you are the what's man what's up internet jonathan young here thanks so much for watching this That's video Gaston, if you liked it you can download it on itunes or louder.fm don't forget to check me out on your favorite social media sites uh i'm just here chilling with brady we're working yeah. on some new videos for you say hi brady uh, hi. i'm jonathan young and i will see you next time oh fuck did it again <laughs> I was like, I should probably catch it for when it goes all and stuff. It doesn't. I don't. You know, I don't really care. Um, if you see what I watch, because it's not like I go watch fucked up shit on YouTube or anything. It's just like those are my personalized videos. You don't need to check out what I'm peeping. <laughs> not that it really matters. It's probably just be like, actually, what the fuck? Yeah, no. Sorry, I smiled because I got a text from my manager because he fucked up. And I was just like, yeah, I'm glad you fixed that. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, Jonathan Young, Jonathan Young, Jonathan Young. A uh, mix that starts with Within Temptation. Jonathan Young, uh, Violet, and Maury. Jonathan Young, Jonathan Young, Jonathan Young, Jonathan Young, Jonathan Young, Jonathan Young. It's pretty much all Jonathan Young. So, I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's just recommending me other Jonathan Young things just to, to watch. Anyways, not important. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I don't need to get into the fact that I don't care much for Violet or, in, or Randy. I feel like I want to make a video, but I feel like there's no reason to make a video. It's just, I don't get, I just don't get how, why Violet is so famous and popular. I feel like it's really a huge simp thing because she's like a gothic looking queen. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't dislike her, it's just, it's just, I feel like everyone overlooks the fact that she's incredibly flat in most of her videos, not because of her tonality, but because of the fact that she tries to sing in a choral, more opera style, well not even opera, just more choral, open, uh, round style, and like, rock and metal songs which is not how you sing rock and metal and so she always sounds out of tune even though she's not just because of the way she's singing no one seems to notice that no one seems to give a fuck about that they're all just like oh you're so fucking amazing and everyone's like oh i gotta collab with this person and she has like more subscribers than like halicine and laura <laughs> or is it lauren 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 Bavik. Uh, who actually have a hook and do really good stuff and she just sings stuff in the wrong style and it sounds out of tune because she's singing it in the wrong style yet everyone loves her more it's like it like it blows my fucking mind I don't get it but anyways I don't dislike her I just don't think she's as amazing as everyone else seems to think that she is anyways <laughs> a great singer just for some reason she can't stop singing in the wrong style it's weird Jonathan Young uh, I got a few things to note here. Um, <clears throat> it was it was cool. I it was, it was cool. I was a little disappointed at the end. Not gonna lie, because again, as I mentioned straight up the straight out at the beginning, like I, I'm interested to see how he's gonna do the echoes at the end. And I, I I thought before I started recording, but I don't think I said it while I was recording. And if he doesn't, if he if if, if they're not fully there, I'm probably gonna be a little disappointed. So I was a little disappointed with the end. However, there's some really cool stuff that he, he chose to do here throughout the song. 
Bring me back up. Play me back in, Johnny. Uh, right at the beginning here, we got the piano. I said the piano was a really nice touch on this piano stuff. Let's let's even go back a little bit further here. It's just kind of it's pretty. It's soft. Just you know, just playing around with a few notes here that just they go really well with everything else that's going on. Uh, it's just it's a very nice touch there. It's very pretty. I really like that. Um, around 25 seconds here, we're just gonna let it keep going for a little bit. Um, I, I heard it and then I was like, like okay, it sounds like he's he's doing some rim shots on the uh, on the on the snare there. And then he was. And I thought that that was, sorry. I thought that was a really nice touch, uh, purely because it definitely seems like he he's doing this uh, intro very kind of acoustic, uh, you know, obviously with the acoustic guitar and with the piano. I don't know if piano counts as acoustic, <laughs> but uh, you know, just kind of this very soft, open, acoustic-y piano vibe to it, and so just naturally you don't want heavy rim rim hits in there. So definitely rim shot is, uh, not rim hits, but snare hits in there. But uh, nice, nice little, like jazz-like rim shots is it was I think was a really smart choice. Right there. Right there. Let's find. Let's pause it up. Right there. Right there. Nice rim rim shots for sure. Um, I, I think I think that that was smart. Um, it, it really kept the 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 theme the feel of everything that he was doing going there. Just nice and smooth. Nice and just kind of very, very beautiful and softly done here. Um, 45 seconds. Oh, yeah, it was just kind of the, 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 the chorus in general. Like all the choruses, uh, I think when, if I remember correctly, because I just listened to it, uh, when Phil Collins does it, he kind of, it kind of brings in a little bit more of a, a rock feel to it. It's still kind of soft and smooth like what Jonathan Young's doing here, but uh, he, he, you know, he brought in more instrumentation. Jonathan Young just kind of seemed like he kind of even backed off on instrumentation um, and uh, and just kind of was almost like solo singing it, <laughs> but with just smooth, soft underlaying instruments in there. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Actually, let's get into that because like it was building up to be like that 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 rock and chorus, and then it it backed off. Interesting choice there. I like the chord progression he's got going on there. Just nice stepwise motion. Uh, that was. Yeah, so that was an interesting choice. It was a very interesting choice because you know that's a very interesting freeze frame. Okay, I like that one better. Um, because you know with Jonathan Young, I expect it to be you know this is a crazy rock chorus going on, but like he he really backed off with it, and uh, I'm okay with that choice. I, I would have been okay with either choice, but the fact that he went with this choice was just not what I expected. I, I is. I'm kind of I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it for sure. That was that was a that was it was a pretty cool choice. And he does it like I thought he was just gonna do it for the first chorus, but it seems like I if, unless he did it, it changed it up at the end. I don't really remember, but we'll find that out together. But he repeated this throughout for most of the choruses that I can remember. So I think that that was a really cool choice. Round one twenty here. I gotta read what I notes. Oh yeah yeah yeah. When he says different. When he said the word different, and he was playing around with the notes here, which I found very, very fascinating. Uh, I can't remember how Phil did it, <laughs> which is the reason I listened to the originals, because I, I, it helps me note the changes that Jonathan Young makes uh, more clearly. Um, and uh, there was a nice triplet there on different. Um, that he had in there that I don't I don't know if uh if, 
if uh, if Phil did that or not. But the, it, was, it was really cool. And I think it, I can't remember if it continued. I know. I don't know. Was, 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 was. So this course is a, is a step up from the other one, but it's still not yet like rocking, you know. And that it's, it's interesting. It's like he's he is he's, he's slowly working it up. I think that's my guess of what he did. Uh, we'll we'll find out here in a moment, I believe. But yeah, he he backed it way off, and then it's like slowly increasing it. Um, and that's. That's a cool effect. That's, 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 a, that's a really cool musical choice, and I'm, I'm with it. I'm, I'm behind that choice for 100%. No matter what they say. Nice. I like the way he held that out. Say. And a very interesting uh, vocal effect on the end there, too. It was pretty cool. Um, around two ish minutes here. Um, Oh, uh, there, there, there's some cool little uh, electric guitar touches in here, and this is when I really started to kind of really settled in that that's what this whole thing is going to be. Is that the, I like how he's mostly focusing on the the acoustic guitar. It sounds it, it makes everything sound somewhat subdued, yet it still has a rock feel to it, which is really cool. Um, but there's just these touches of electric guitar in there. And it kind of comes out here around two minutes is where it was where I caught that you could really feel and hear it. But yeah, he's just really rocking on that acoustic guitar. It's got a nice capo on there. It's fucking. It's not the scrunchy one that the other guy used in uh, Go the Distance, I believe it was. <laughs> just a straight up capo on there, uh, and it's it sounded really good. Uh, I, I like these little electric guitar touches. So. Right there, you can hear it. Sound like a trill a little bit. It's like electric guitar back. Yeah, just it's like it's almost like it's, it's just slowly soloing in the background. You can hear it above everything else, but it's just like it's just like it's it's not faint, but it's like it's not on the forefront. Of, of what we're hearing it's not like right in front of our ears it's just kind of way within the back just it's really nice touches there um we're gonna let it continue going here because i got like a 205 so we're gonna actually gonna back it up a little bit because it seems like he was getting into something uh i think i said acoustic guitar but his vocal notes going on here at 205 oh yeah he did he switched something up with the acoustic guitar and started strumming these really cool fucking notes in here Right now he's just chording. <laughs> like it sounds almost percussive, because uh, because first off it's acoustic nature, but also I think he's got the capo on. I think he's he's barring the chords a little bit, uh, or barring the frets a little bit as well. So it's really just kind of turning just acoustic. It's like real fucking. That's so cool. Uh, he's just holding down the chord. Yeah, that right there. Uh, first off, he was getting a little bit more aggressive with it, which makes sense because this is kind of the, the, the breakdown uh, solo here. Uh, with the vocal is just getting more free and just having, you know, he gets to play with the, the, the notes and the melody more. And. Uh, you know he's always getting a little bit more aggressive with it, but that da that he adds in there, changes in there, just really pretty. It sounds really fucking cool. Oh no, <laughs> I just noticed that I disappeared, so I was like, oh, we've we've hit the twenty minute mark, and go. Really good downbeat strumming there, just doom, 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 you know, really, really emphasizing the downbeats. Uh, the guitar and the drums are backing that up. Again, 
So here's the thing. We're back to the course it's for the final thing here, and this is this is what I got. I think this is yeah, the last thing I got here is a uh, two thirty five. Uh, oh, I got something two fifty as well. Son of a bitch. Uh, oh yeah, there's a chord key change kind of thing going on. Uh, I don't know if it's a full on key change, but it's this nice chordal progression either way. Um, and then. Echoes. Oh, yeah. And then 250. I, I didn't care for the echoes very much, but we'll get through that. Uh, uh, I was saying something I completely forgot what I was saying for a second. Give me. It's coming to me. Oh, the chorus. Uh, we're getting into the, like, the final chorus here. And there's definitely there's more energy, but there's not more... I won't say instrumentation, but that might have been, it's not. There's not more... There's not more volume necessarily. Like the drums aren't hitting heavier. There's no like straight up guitar coming, uh, you know, electric guitar coming in. It's still acoustic, but they're giving it more energy. I think this is a great example of you don't need to be louder to have more energy. You know, you can give a song more energy and be kind of soft ish. I mean, they're not necessarily soft. This is definitely picking up and getting more, more, you know, into it, but it's just, uh, like they, they, they give her more energy, but you know, there's not like crazy rock beats coming out. There's no fucking electric guitar coming in. It's just, it's just, but it's still kind of a step up from the last chorus, only because they're putting more energy in, and that's the only thing that's fucking cool. Uh, but let's listen for this key change note thing he does here, in approximately nine-ish seconds. <laughs> I think I heard it. No, I think that was just a chord progression. I don't think that was a key change. Um, and I don't, I don't even think that was him that did that. I, I think that was the. Uh, I think that was the instrumentation here. Let's, let's yeah, if you hear in the background, dun dun, kind of almost like a leading tone a little bit there. Um, so yeah, no, that's just that's just a, that's just a chord progression there. Uh, not not a key change. Um, but yeah, listen, listen to the background. I think it's kind of a little bit with a piano. I feel like he's got to be a lot of the piano because I don't think he's got much more going on than kind of electric guitar in the background, acoustic guitar, drums, and piano. Maybe maybe he's got a bass guitar in there that he's not showing off uh, in the video. Um, but yeah, listen listen to that uh, to that chord progression there, like going behind his vocals. That just it's so fucking cool. <laughs> Sorry, I was singing over and I'm going to go back. I just, I just, I was anticipating it. Yeah, it is basically. I like that, that little, uh, I don't even know what you would call that, but when he said forevermore, when he put more like, kind of, it, it just stress on it and just kind of let it break a little bit. That was pretty cool. Almost like almost like going into a scream, but like not quite there. That was kind of cool. And then uh, right here, when we're about to repeat this chorus, I feel like he did a, a little bit like what he did in uh, uh, I think it was the Backstreet Boys or NSYNC song that he did. I think it might have been Backstreet Boys. Like I want it that way. I think it was what it was, which I'm pretty sure is Backstreet Boys. Um, to instead of doing the echo, he just kind of did a little woohoo stuff in there. It's just like. That was kind of weird. He kind of does that again instead of doing the whole echo thing. And then the stuff he does echo is just like, ah, okay, it's all right. Um, so it's just like, again, it doesn't ruin the song. Like, this is really pretty and really beautiful. I really like what he did with this song. It's just like, those echoes are like, ah, okay. <laughs> it was all right. I was kind of waiting for him just to go for it. And then he did some weird woos in there. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's listen to it. I mean, it's pretty. <laughs> it's just, I'm waiting for the, you know, just kind of, 
<laughs> not that crazy exaggerated and bad but uh just like you know i'm waiting for that awesome echo that you know everyone knows the song for and <laughs> you know it's it's kind of weird um I wouldn't say bad because he's kind of sets it up by doing that going into the final chorus. So it just makes sense that he would continue on that theme. So he set it up nicely that it doesn't make it bad, but it's still just like, it doesn't feel right to me. And it's just kind of weird. Um, that one's okay. That one's not bad. Uh, nice, really open, resonant sound on that. Ooh, you know, he, he, he definitely makes that very open and warm on that note there, for sure. Yeah, very beautiful, open it, resonant, round, gorgeous. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I feel like he, he he's really good at getting that open resonant tone in a appropriate appropriate location in the song violet i'm looking at you uh because he, he he definitely has that more nasally rock style singing throughout the song which it should have but in this beautiful part where it's kind of uh the the, the rockness is kind of fading away anyways and it's just kind of the open end of the note he's getting very open with it he does something very similar in uh uh in there uh fuck the not hellfire uh the hunchback of notre dame song the bells of notre dame there you go um <clears throat> to well even pronounce some uh some words interestingly because he makes a very open uh resonant sound in a place that makes sense to do it so uh, i like i like i like when he when he when he does that um because he does it he peppers it in very occasionally and he always does it in a place that i find appropriate so like musically appropriate so uh, i think that this it's beautiful really well really well done actually i was not expecting this one to be like so well done actually that uh, i thought that was really cool uh so that's it for this one i think the next one uh next one in line would be this is halloween but we've already listened i've already heard that many times it's really good. Uh, I highly recommend checking that out. The other one is uh, is a cover of something that I can't really remember what it is. If, if I don't remember, if, but but we got we got a cover of another kind of like rock or pop song. I think is what it is um, that he's going to be doing. So I'm looking forward to that. Come join me for that, uh, and I will see you next time.